guys, Alpha here and welcome to the review of SS Software's newest DLC, Beyond the Baltic Sea. The DLC was released on the 29th of November for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and it is the biggest map DLC made for the game. In this video we will take a look at everything this DLC has to offer, I will give you my opinion about it and help you decide if you should buy this DLC or not. Now before we get started I want to quickly share some really exciting news. The channel has a new partner called Gamesplanet. Now Gamesplanet is an official video game store offering PC, Mac and Linux digital games. All the keys are official and directly from the game publishers. They have instant delivery and no extra payment method fees. Now the customer service is great as well. So if you would like to support my channel please consider using my link in the description to buy any games you want. They do also have Beyond the Baltic Sea DLC available, so if you like what you see in the video, you can buy it from the link in the description. Beyond the Baltic Sea is the newest and biggest DLC made for the game with 5 new countries including Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, parts of western Russia and south of Finland. There are in total 24 new major cities and many smaller towns with over 13,000 kilometers of new in-game roads. As is the case with every new map DLC, we have brand new unique 3D assets with characteristic Baltic architecture, famous landmarks and many recognizable places. Included in the DLC we also have over 30 new local company docks and industries such as concrete plants, locomotive, furniture and paper mill factories as well as 16 new farms. For the new 3D assets we also have new local AI trains, trams and traffic cars made for each country. For gameplay features there are high capacity transport trailers for Finland which include two long semi trailers attached to a tractor unit. We also have new border crossing mechanics for Russia. As always, we also have New Baltic Region achievements to unlock from Steam. This DLC yet again is a step up in quality from other maps. There are new road systems with different textures as well as lush climate accordant vegetation. If you don't own some of the older map DLCs, there are a couple of new ferry connections, one from Germany to Latvia and also Finland. That does not require any map DLC, 
and there is also a connection from Sweden to Estonia and Finland and for that you need the Scandinavian map DLC but you can play this DLC without owning any other map DLCs as well you just have to take the ferry from Germany So here it is, another amazing quality DLC from SES Software. The ETS2 map is getting really big with all the new DLCs. Um, if you are a hardcore fan of the game, you should definitely buy this DLC. And if you are new to the game, I would say this DLC is still worth a buy. It is the newest DLC and as I mentioned before, it has the best quality and the most content. So in my opinion, this should be the first map DLC you buy. Now if you want to buy this game on Steam, you can see the prices on screen right now. And as I said in the start of the video, if you'd like to support my channel, you can buy the DLC from Gamesplanet. And I will have the link in the description for that as well. So thanks for watching, I do hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to leave a like rating and also subscribe to my channel. I post new ETS2 videos every single week and with the new DLC there will be a lot more content coming very soon. Again thanks for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.